Hi guys, today I'm here to tell you about one of my favorites, frozen peaches. They are so perfect and delicious this time of year. They're sweeter than candy, so I want them all year long because I am greedy. So this is so simple you won't believe it. Here's all you do to make frozen peaches. You take a peach, you wash it off, if preferable, if you can get the clean free or free stone where it doesn't adhere to the pit, it's easier. You don't have to, it's just easier. But literally all you do is start making slices after you rinse it off and pat it dry. You just make these big slices. I do about a pound per bag, but it's just that simple. You make these slices and then you peel it away from the pit and you drop it into lemon juice or lime juice so it will preserve the color. It, if you get the free stone or clean free, they really come away very simply from the pit. They literally just fall off. So all you do then is toss it in a little bit of that lime juice. You don't have to and it does not affect the flavor. And then you take them, you put some parchment paper and you lay them in a single row and while they freeze, put them in the freezer for three or four hours. And then after they're frozen, you just take a Ziploc baggie. You can label it with the date and what it is. It'd be pretty obvious what it is. But you just then fill your Ziploc baggie with the frozen peaches. And when, before you put it back into the freezer, just press the air out, zip it up, and then it's ready to go. It's that easy. So one other little bonus tip. If you want to, you can do the same thing with cherries. Just take the stem off of it and lay them uh, on the pan next to the peaches. If you wanna do that, you don't have to pit them beforehand. You can if you want. I've seen a few different methods, but mostly it just says to rinse them, pat them dry, and then just lay them on the pan like with the peaches and freeze them and you can put them in the bag as well. So does it get mushy afterwards? Not really with the peaches. You can defrost them in the refrigerator and they are nice in a fruit salad. I will have my Grandma Allie's fruit salad in this blog post, Frozen Peaches, that goes perfect. And um, the other thing is sometimes cherries get a little softer when you defrost them, but it depends on what you're using it for. If it's for shakes or smoothies, it really doesn't matter, or even in your baked goods. Same with peaches, but the, the peaches do hold up nicely. Defrosting in the refrigerator, perfect for a fruit salad or just to enjoy however you would normally do. Um, the last thing is that no matter where you get your peaches, they're always gonna be good. So if, I used to think you needed to put a little sugar on them, you really don't. And especially as you get more off of sugar, your taste buds adapt to that rich and sweetness of the peach. So I don't use sugar anymore. I don't use the monk fruit. I just try to enjoy the natural flavor of the peach. I would be curious what your thoughts are on that. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. But mostly get out there and freeze some peaches so you can have them all year round. Thanks guys, bye-bye.